So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do your stairs remodel for only $80. Can you believe that? So this carpet on the stairs is driving me crazy. All of this is going away. So let's begin. So I start off by removing um, the carpet from the stairs. That was actually pretty easy. Just get yourself a crowbar and just pull it off. So this is what it looks like afterwards. All of those little patches are no nail holes. So what I did is put some stripper on the paint stripper. And as you see, it's coming off the sides. It's easy to stay in the middle, but the sides have like gooped up, filled up paint. But as you can see, I have wood on my staircase. Yay! <laughs> Plastic scraper and just scraping it right off. So now I have the floor sanded, and these are not sanded yet. These are sanded. So that I can go up and down the stairs, I stained every other stair. I am liking how this turn is turning out. And I used the classic, classic gray. So the next step in this process is putting the beadboard up. So at the very top stair, I already have it in. This is what it looks like right here. And I have each of them already lined up on the stairs. And then I'm applying it with liquid nails. As you see, I haven't uh, put the final gloss on there. But this is what it looks like. Do that. So after applying the liquid nails, I actually went back and put um, probably like two or three nail holes in there with the brat nailer just to make sure that it doesn't come apart. Um, this right here, you can just have this as your final finish with the beadboard. And the beadboard cost me, I think, what is it? $19, $19.40 at Store Home Depot. So the next step in this process is making sure you seal your stairs so that you can go up and down and you know they're very durable so that's what I'm doing at this moment I'm just putting on a very light coat but make sure you go back with two or three coats that's what I did so right now I'm doing my landing um, the wood that I bought was three quarter of an inch and then I had to get a quarter inch to put underneath so that it could be the same size as a tread because the tread was one inch thick as you see, I've already put in the trim and then I just have to come back and paint the sides. And um, what else I gotta do? Oh yeah, and put the final coats, clear coat on. So I didn't film a couple of uh, things that I did in this process, which was obviously going to Home Depot. Home Depot actually um, cut each of these pieces. I make sure it was all measured. And then in the garage, I sanded them down and then applied one coat of the stain to them. And right now I'm using quarters to space out the boards and then just nail nailing them down with a brat nailer, 18 gauge. Um, I think these are one and a half inch nail. So now I got all the wood pieces in there. Now it's time to trim. And then as you see, I've been painting the walls again white. So I take my, what is this? This is a Boss Stitch 1850BN right here. And it's also called a brat nailer. Take my trim, put it over. And voila, you're done. This is the end product. I am so happy of how this came out. It was very inexpensive. I love it. And I hope that you are willing to do this. Okay.